Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, we have discussed how to create the dashboard with the help of the Seabound library. We did the, some, uh, we use the hue property in the Seabound, in the Seabound and I show how we can create the, this uh, kind of a dashboard. Now this time we need to do the more kind of a visualization. Uh, if we, if you remember the data set, what the data we have, we have some columns where the data is in the ordinal form. So what is the ordinal data? Ordinal data is a kind of the uh, rating, it's kind of a ranking data. Say some uh, we travel in the Uber car and how we give the rating to the uh, that Uber driver. So as we give the like 5, it is a, uh, excellent, 4 is a very good, 3 is a good, 2 is a bad, 1 is very bad and 0 may be the uh, not recorded. So this kind of the rating we give mostly. Uh, sometimes rating will be the from 1 to 10 sometimes 1 to 5 in our cases in our uh, ordinal data columns we have a rating from 1 to 5 so for this what I did uh, because it is a rating and it have a number from 1 to 5 sorry 0 to 5 so let's consider consider that it is an uh, integer type in type of data numerical variable in this I'm going to store all the columns which have the data types uh, uh, of int so how we going to do df dot select d types then it should include only the int type of columns so if you remember our columns df column then it have the two starting column of the unnamed zero and id we no need of these two columns index start from the zero so zero at the name zero one is the id age is the second so we start from the we give the columns it start from the third that is the flight distance so let's see what the numerical variable contains in from the flight distance uh, to the in-flight wi-fi service so so this is the all the columns we have which uh, whose type is the int, int 64 is the uh, data type of these columns but flight distance is can't be the ordinal data it is a continuous type of a data because it is measuring the distance of the flight from one point to the other point whereas ease of online booking how you are booked your flight is in a type of ordinal data so let uh, see how how the people are giving the rating so if i keep here if i put here the ease of online booking these are the people who give the rating five one four three two one like that but uh, uh, in place of uh, keeping as an integer, it's good to uh, create an, uh, one dictionary and then map to this column where it, we can see 5 equal equivalent to the excellent. This is uh, something we have to be do from our end. So I created one dictionary that is ordinal dictionary. So 5 is matched to the excellent. Now what I'm explaining you, we I, I'm going to show you how we can map. That is very simple. We are going to use the dot map function and write the here the dictionary name once you do you can see now again if you run this one we run in the new cell then you can see here okay now it's make more sense compared to the one two three four five uh, the good bad very bad good very bad excellent not reported are the index we can see now it is always good to present something in a percentage compared to the number of the total population so what we're going to do we're going to write the one function which can calculate the percentage based on the one column so how we're going to write we have to be defined first one function and give us uh, some general name i give the calculate percentage you have to pass one data frame and you have to pass one column name after this what you need to do you have to be map all all the ordinal data type of this kind of a mapping so let's just copy from here and paste and uh, let's make it uh, in a generalized way so no need to give any particular column you can give the uh, in place of his own online booking you can give the column okay once you have this one then uh, you, you i'm creating a new data frame here that is a new df and pd dot data frame and i'm going to write this. so again let's make it uh, as a generalized way so it is a column and i have because it will come in the index and uh, this value come in the column okay columns which is equal to the column then i'm going to create the new uh, column here that is a percentage so i'm going to create here and uh, how you going to calculate the percentage new df then you it should be the call and it should be divided with the all the, the sum values so new df call dot sum then as, as we are calculating the percentage so it should be multiplied with the 100 
let's close this bracket as well and uh, you can give here the round uh, to uh, to terminate the numbers after some decimal place i am i am uh, putting here round of uh, 2 and uh, it should return my data frame so return new return new dm okay we will check uh, we will uh, test this function before moving further so let's paste it here and give any general comment name okay so i am giving this one uh, make sure you should run before that again your you should load your data frame one time more because here we change it so i did that one sales of online booking and now let's see the percentage uh this is some not some and let's test it okay so this is the percentage now uh, seeing the big number it's very easy to see 13.33 percent are telling uh, the ex uh, excellent about the online booking into the airport okay so this is the way to calculate the percentage why i'm calculating the percentage because in the next uh, step i'm going to show the visualization how you can visualize this of the this of the percentage in the bar plot uh, in the bar plot and uh, with similar to the uh, another axis we will uh, visualize with the uh, with the help of the hue property of the satisfaction how the people are satisfied or dissatisfied while they are giving the rating as excellent or very bad okay for this i have to create some uh, basic uh, basic platform to generate the figure so i'm going to do that one here so figure and i'm going to define the two axes here ax1 and ax2 it is a little bit, bit different what uh, we did in the previously previously we did with, uh, with the help of the grid space now we are simply doing with the help of the plt dot subplots so plt dot subplots i have the one row and two columns and i can define by the fixed size as well here so my fixed size generally i keep 22,6 you can change it later okay then you can write here the subtitle so i write here the uh, plt dot subtitle what my column name and uh, the, what the font size what the font name and the weight is about now i am adjusting uh, the subplot because i am drawing in the horizontal space this number you can change it in a later wise as well so sns dot bar plot in the first figure i am going to define the bar plot where you have to be defined what is your x so x is my uh, that uh, there's this uh, calculate percentage that index should be should be coming the x-axis where the percentage should come on the y-axis so so what i'm going to do i have to be call this function inside this uh, function this is the visualization function i'm doing trying to do in the generalized way so it's it will be easy for you so before gener uh, generate the figure i just calculate df per uh, that, that is a df per percentage and it should be uh, call this function inside here i can give the name is a column so before first we have to be define here the uh, our uh, function that is the de definition of that function i can write here the visualization then in that i have to pass the df and i have to pass the column let's right, so just this one okay so once it is here so i know now my df per dot index it will be on the x axis or what is my on the y axis to the column the percentage should be on the y axis and from y from where my data is coming my data is coming from uh, df percentage okay in which axis i want in first axis i want it okay this is one now similarly on the axis 2 what i'm going to do i'm going to draw the count plot so sns dot uh, bar plot and it should be the uh, not the y axis here now here the x in the place of the x axis in the x axis it should be the come the column and the data will come as the df and here i am going to use the property of hue property so what is my hue my hue is the satisfaction so generally what i do for the general things uh, that's already we explained in the last video how we set the x label uh, x label and the y axis i am doing to i am doing for the both of the axis so x1 dot text x level it will be rotate your good very good that kind of the rating in the 45 degree of rotation what is your x level will come the experience because this is what people are feeling people are uh, people are this is what the people experience in the airport and uh, uh, the get y axis dot set visible false already we discussed this one lot of a time so without wasting time i'm uh, moving forward but uh, to remove the spins to remove the left, left right and uh, that kind of a border i'm going to use here the four 
uh, for loop and it will be loop for the both of the axis axis 1 and axis 2 so nothing change here this already we discussed in our the last videos so in last uh, we have only the one axis so we remove we keep only the spin one now we have the two axis we are using the jig function and the spin one and spin two and make it as a uh, uh, set visible as a false now last what you going to do here you have to be write the plt dot show function okay just before going to test the function uh, we have to be we have to be take care of uh, of this one it should be it should be the count plot and uh, rest is all okay so there is an uh, when, while we are testing there should be the value error why because when when the function is passing in the calculate percentage if you see above then it is already mapping to the ordinal dictionary that is that means it is not in its uh, in its uh, what to say in it's not in the original form so to avoid this kind of error what i'm to make i'm going to make the copy of the df copy of that df.copy and it's right here so here i can uh, here i'm making the copy of the of our df function so let's uh, load the df again let's change it to df copy here and uh, okay well it's uh, all good here so i'm going to be change here as well and it should be the okay okay so if you if once you make the copy of the data frame to the new data frame you can see this kind of a uh, this kind of a visualization what we expected to do now one thing is uh, not matching here that is uh, uh, the, while the people are of the giving the excellent rating to the online booking so neutral uh, that uh, neutral passengers are more compared to the satisfied passenger because there are the other factor maybe which can be the responsible for the satisfaction or not okay so uh, these are the general colors which python automatically give but uh, let's make this uh, let's make this uh, visualization to the to one of the strict level so what we need to do we already discussed when we have the two type of a color we have to be give the target color when we do our analysis based on the based on the, our uh, satisfaction when we are using the hue property while for this is the new case for us so again uh, to decide the color i'm going to write one dictionary firstly uh, uh, down to it and uh, let's add that kind that's kind of a color here so i define new dictionary here that is a color dictionary where it will give the excellent this color very good this color already i make this dictionary so let's uh, jump uh, let's run it and map now this uh, dictionary to the new df as a color column so new df here should come the color okay and it's very easy to do so what we what i need to do it should be based on the index so new df dot index dot map and now it should be the color now these are the colors which come based on the what we define in the dictionary so we, what will happen in based on these type of a color we can uh, we can adjust our the bar plot by giving the bar property the palette we just give the uh, palette uh, in the list and similarly we can give the hair as well but here we don't need to give this kind of things because our analysis based on the satisfaction level so already we defined the hair the target colors so just give it here target okay so this is what uh, what we want we just give here the palette and it will be reflecting the same now to analyze for all the columns we no need to write here the one by one column we just use the for loop so for uh, name one and we have not copy and this should be the three there okay okay now uh, we have all the ordinal data types so in flight wi-fi service then uh, ease of online booking and then get location so so this is the way we can uh, understand see say this is the very good this is the excellent and uh, we have we already fixed the color as well so the, the seat comfortable in flights onboard service so like this we can check uh, you can go more on the deep to understand this kind of uh, analysis so this is what uh, the topic for today's video i hope you understand the video if you like the video then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel